Welcome to our second episode of Let's Try That. If you missed our first episode, we'll catch you up. These are meant to be quick invitations to encourage you to create together. Yes, because we believe that it's incredibly transformative to make time to create together. So like we said last time, find a sibling, a parent, a grandparent, a neighbor, or a friend, anyone with whom you'd want to create and make that time and create together. On today's episode, we're going to be exploring Zen Tangle Art, a simple, fun... Oh, Whitney, I am an expert at Zen Tango dancing. I'm sure you are, Miss Erin, but I was talking about Zen Tangle art, drawing... Uh, oh, you didn't mean dancing. You meant the non-representational doodling? Yes, a Zen Tangle intertwines patterns and has a flow and rhythm. For the past five years, there's been quite a fad of therapeutic art with adult coloring books. Thank goodness it's lasted longer than that gaucho pants trend. <laughs> Zen Tangle is a method of drawing simple, repeated patterns. But first, before you can understand Zen Tangles, one must understand the history of a love story. Zen Tangles are the love child of Rick and Maria Thomas. <clears throat> Once upon a time, Rick, a longtime practitioner of meditation, met Maria, a botanical calligraphist. Upon dating, they found that their primary topic of conversation was geometry and sacred shapes. From there, Zen tangles were born. Rick is the Zen, Maria is the tangle. Isn't that just heartwarming? Whitney, were you asleep? Just the thought of zen tangling is so relaxing. Yeah, it is. You want to give it a try? Let's, Let's try, try that. that! Zen tangling is such a fun way to create beautiful images of structured patterns. You don't have to be Michelangelo to create a great zen doodle. It's easy for beginners to get started. One of the many reasons I love Zen tangling is because everyone discovers something different, something unexpected and beautiful. Yeah, and it's particularly great for people who believe that they can't draw. Everybody can draw. Everybody can draw. Have you ever been caught in class doodling? Fun fact about me, when I was in high school, I tried to start a petition so that teachers would allow students to draw in class. Because for me, doodling really helped me focus, and that's what Zen tangling does. It allows you to relax, to focus, and to awaken your imagination. It's an activity a lot like yoga or meditation. When you really get into the flow of creating, believe it or not, there's some huge health benefits to this kind of doodling. It builds hand-eye coordination, fosters motor skills, and because it's a calming activity, if you're struggling with anxiety, this could be a super helpful tool for you. Yeah, it really helps calm down after a long day at school or work, one stroke at a time. We encourage you to grab some papers, some pen, a family member, and turn off your screens. Unplug and enter your zen. Tangle. So to get started, some materials that you'll need, blank paper. The stiffer, the better. Markers. The finer, the better. Together, you're creating a work of art, but you're also deliberately creating a mood. You can experiment on scraps of paper first to get comfortable with your marks before moving to your thicker cardstock for your final product. And as for your drawing utensil, we recommend a high quality Japanese fine liner micron pen. They're black, come in packs of lots of different sizes, and they dry quickly so you won't smear your work. 
There are tons of resources and examples online of different patterns. There's also templates you can print out. We suggest beginning with a simple square template to get your minds moving and your hands working. Are you ready to create your own designs and doodles? I am. Let's steep a pot of tea. We can have caffeinated if we want to focus or decaffeinated if we want to relax. We can put on some soothing music and let's get ready to create. Hey, technology, can you put on some Zen tunes? <laughs> Utilizing um, your squares from the template that we suggested, we encourage starting in your corner and working outward. And you can really create interesting combinations of dots, lines, simple curves, orbs, swirls. We suggest that you first start out with squares of paper and then advance to bigger ones. Turn and rotate your paper as you are creating your tangle. The result can be really delightful. The most important thing to remember is that you need to focus on each individual stroke. Don't worry about what to do next or what your end result will be. Really just be in the moment and focus on the individual marks that you're making. Once you have worked on the smaller squares and you feel comfortable, you can expand to working on a template. So these templates are easily found online and it allows you to fill in the blank spaces. Um, it's really fun if you work together side by side with a family member or a friend, taking turns filling in shapes um, and it'll end up turning out to be something really interesting. you to search Zentangle patterns online. There are literally hundreds. And some of the names are like super, super, super funny and wacky. Like Tipple, Mumsy, Huggins, Pimpkins, Flux, Swarm, Scrumble, Swirls, Whirls, Weaves, Whelps, Tangulations, Feather Falls, Pebbles, Bubbles, and Bloom. And so many more. Then once you have the basic Zentangles under your belt, let your mind wander and be as creative as possible. You can invent your own patterns and see what your imagination comes up with. Here are some examples of ones that I did. Freeform. And the beauty of Zen doodling is that it can become very incredibly complex. Be sure to really take your time. Don't be afraid to do small pieces and parts um, and come back to it later. The more small areas that you do at a time will add up to be a really sensational drawing. Absolutely, and while you are taking your time, um, pass the time with your co-collaborators, your family members or your friends uh, who you're making this with by asking them questions about this process. How does it make you feel? Are you relaxed? Are you focused? Do you feel like your imagination is going wild? Once your doodles are done and you've really experimented, we are encouraging you to create your own greeting cards, perfect for the holiday and all the thank yous you're going to be writing. Um, so work together on your own card. Send somebody uh, an unexpected thank you. So once you have a drawing of your own, either from a template or one that you've created yourself, you can cut it to size and fold it to make the perfect card, a little thank you or note of encouragement this time of year. All right, once your Zen Tangle doodles are done, 
before you mail them off, be sure to snap a pic, send it our way with hashtag let's try that SCA so that we can see all of your zen jangling. As I mentioned, everybody can learn to draw. Whether you draw a line or a dot, you can create a pattern. Tune in next time when we're going to be diving into our newest exhibition, Absurd Imaginaries. We're gonna be creating our own exquisite corpse. Miss Erin, have you ever created your own wacky, exquisite corpse? I haven't. Let's try that. that.